Hey everyone, welcome to this new video. As you can see, I'm really excited for this video. Because um, this was probably the best thing that happened to me in this year. So this was something that I'd been dreaming of for my whole life. Uh, I always wanted to join Q College, but I never could because I was too young. But like this year it was a little different. Now I wasn't really hoping on it anymore and I also wasn't really thinking about it. But um, when they posted this message about Q College uh, on his web on their website, I went crazy. Um, I was so happy and when I saw the age you had to be to join, um, which was 15 and I could join because I'm 16 right now, I was so happy because <laughs> I was finally old enough to join and as I said, this was something I wanted to do for my whole life. So um, on the same day that I saw the post, I signed in and I made a video and I really put um, work and effort into that video and it paid off. I'm now going to show you my edition video, it's also on YouTube here, so if you want to watch it, there you go. Uh, it's in Dutch, I will be putting translations um, on it. But yeah, this was my edition video. Hey, ik ben dus bij 16 jaar oud en ik wil heel graag meedoen aan Q College. En dan denken jullie waarschijnlijk, nou, waarom moet Esmee nou zo nodig meedoen met Q College? Nou, ik denk juist dat ik een hele geschikte kandidaat zou zijn, omdat ik ja, al wel wat ervaring heb met DJ zijn, zoals jullie kunnen zien. En ik denk ook dat, omdat ik wat jonger ben, dat ik dan een andere kijk heb op problemen en op ideeën, waardoor weer nieuwe frisse ideeën ontstaan en waardoor Q nog beter en nog leuker wordt. Ook heb ik al wel wat ervaring met de media, zo heb ik mijn eigen YouTube kanaal. En ja, daar kan ik dus ook wel mee omgaan. Dus dat zijn de redenen waarom jullie voor mij kunnen kiezen. So that was my edition video and uh, you could sign up until the 20th of May. And um, on the 22nd of May I got an email from Dewardshire. And this was probably the best email I've ever received. And this is what the email said. Good news, you've been selected and we would love to invite you to join us on the selection day of Q College. Um, the mail also gave me some information about in about the group I was placed in and they put me in group 6 and that was the last group of yeah the selection day and there was also some news about the day itself, how it was going to look um, we would have to do a blind audition for that part we had to prepare one thing a one minute interview if you got through that you had to explain your idea for Q Music so um, what you would like to change, what you would like to yeah, put into Q Music and if you got through that round, you had to have a chat with, um, yeah, Yvonne. And his program direct, and his program director by Q Music. And at the end of the mail, uh, she said like, "Good luck and see you on Saturday." And honestly, when I when I read this email, I was so happy, and I was I was looking at my phone, and I was just opening my email, not expecting anything. But um, yeah, I opened my phone and I was standing in the kitchen and my mum was standing beside me and I was like, oh my god, no, oh my god, um, when I saw the first line of the email and I was like, mom, I've been selected for Q College and I was so happy. First of all, I didn't read the uh, whole mail, just the first line of it and I was like, oh my god, I was screaming, <laughs> I was shouting because I was so happy. And oh, I get I get goosebumps all over my body, but <laughs> it was the best news I've ever got. Um, and I was like, no, this can't be true. I was so happy, I couldn't believe it. Then I penetrated, and I saw that I had to do the audition on Saturday, and I got the mail on Thursday, so I had two days to prepare an interview. <laughs> um, yeah. So I immediately called my friend Rihanna if I could interview her and luckily she said yes. Um, I was so happy when she said like, yeah, of course I want to do that. Um, so she really saved my interview. Um, and after I did that, I contacted all of my friends and family like, oh my god guys, you won't believe this, but I'm selected to go um, to do an audition Q College. I was, I was hyped, I was so happy and I always dreamed of this happening but I never imagined that it would yeah 
be happening in real life. So it was, it was so amazing for me. So on the day of Q College, which was Saturday, um, I was so nervous, but also really awake and happy. But <laughs> all of it, I was nervous. Um, and we were driving to Amsterdam, me, my mum and my sister and my dad, because, um, yeah, they were going to the macro and I would go to music, because it's like really close to each other. And, um, and then I messaged Joost, uh, which is also a Q music DJ, and he also got that through Q College. And I messaged this. Um, hey Joost, I'm preparing myself for the pre preliminary rounds of Q College. Can you maybe play a song which can calm down my nerves? Greetings, Esme. And then he replied and he sent me a text. Um, he said, doing well. I have a look if I can play something for you. Good luck. <laughs> Greetings, Joost. Okay, you will see... Wait. <laughs> Just between. Um, just something between. You will see me be like, eee, and then go this, because um, I'm just so hyped and happy. You can just see that this was my dream. Um, but yeah, let's continue. So um, he also read out my message on the radio live, because he was making a radio program when I messaged him. And what he said was, um, the best of luck, Esme, and if this doesn't work out, you can always try again. And then he played Try Again by Chef Special. And that song is so special for me right now. Because um, it just reminds me of this day. And when I hear it, I get shivers all over my body. So when we were at the Key Music building, um, I didn't want to leave the car. <laughs> um, I saw this boy walking towards the Key Music building. And I was like, oh my god, he looks so cool. Because he had like this jacket on. And he... He looked really professional and I was like, oh my god, I'm such a noob and I wouldn't win this from him. He is definitely more good looking than me and better and he looked older. So I was like, no, I'm not going to win this. So I didn't want to leave the car. But my family was like, okay, it's fine. you're just going to do it. You are you can do it. Good luck. And then I went inside the building and um, yeah, I got into the elevator and there was this other girl who already had her audition and she didn't make it sad but true um, but she said to me that it was really nice and that I didn't have to worry because it was really chilled and I just had to enjoy it just enjoy the moment so when I went into the building um, I got uh, this paper from a girl and um, yeah, it was an article I had to rewrite and I had to do that myself and I had to do that in what we call the sauna because <laughs> um, they have like a yeah, space and area where they can discuss with each other and it was so hot there because <laughs> there were a lot of people in there so that's why they called it the sauna and I met other contestants there and there was this one guy and he was just perfect for radio. He he could talk, he he could talk, <laughs> he really could talk. Um, he was funny, he he just had it all. Um, and we all we were all like, hey you gonna make it, you're gonna go through the next round, you're gonna be there on the radio. We will hear from you. <laughs> then um, group five had to go upstairs and we were in group six so the only the persons which were in group six were left and then Joost came down he came to us and he was like hey good luck you guys um, I know what you've been through I know what you're going through I've been there <laughs> so he was really calming us down and just telling us that we had to enjoy it. Then there was this guy in my group which was the same guy as I had been seeing, um, yeah, outside, walking to keep music, and um, he was called Thomas, and Thomas and I started talking, and yeah, we decided to go, um, yeah, upstairs to the roof terrace. It was really nice talking to him, and it really took away all of my nerves, 
um so that was that was a good thing <laughs> And then we went inside again and Dewar was like, what are you doing here? You should be downstairs because if the judges will see it right now, um, it won't be blind audition. So um, we had to go downstairs again. But what we queued here is that uh, group five, no one had made it through. And the guy, which we thought that he would go through for the full 100%, also didn't make it. So we we're like, oh my God. If he didn't go goes through to the next round, we won't. <laughs> we also won't. We were a little terrified, <laughs> just a little. And um, then Dewacho came and picked us up to go upstairs. And yeah, Thomas had to go first of our group. Um, then I had to go, and then there were two persons left who had to go. I had to wait in front of the studio because um, she had to do your blind audition in studio um, two and um, when I was just trying to calm myself down um, I was like okay <sighs> we're gonna do it you'll be fine just do it because this is something you've been dreaming of your whole life and then I went in and um, I saw Thomas and um, yeah, he walked out and I walked in and he was like, hey, good luck. I was like, hey, how did, did it go? And he was like, oh, it went well. And um, he wished me good luck. And then I walked into the studio and Dioccio, um, yeah, sat with me in the studio. And she, yeah, she said like, we just started to talk with each other and she was like, Okay, this won't count for your audition, but just just talk to me, just get away those nerves. Then I um, had to put on some headphones and then my audition could start. So after that we went straight into the first part of the audition, which was the autoquad to rewrite um, in the sauna. And I think I did pretty well. Um, the cool part about this whole experience is that um, when you have those headphones on and you're talking into the microphone, you hear yourself. And I thought my voice sounded really, yeah, nice and cool. <laughs> I know it's not good for me to say that about myself, but I really thought it was really cool and my voice sounded really nice. And then the second part of the audition was my interview. So we caught Ariana and um, I didn't have any time, I didn't know how long I was talking, but my interview had to be uh, one minute long and I was thinking like, oh, this was my interview, it's done. But he was just like, no, 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 keep on, continue, your minute is not over yet. And Rihanna almost disclined. We almost lost contact with Rihanna, but luckily she could hear it and then I asked her to sing a little bit of her song and that saved my interview, it's really saved my interview. Um, so, yeah, after that, I had to um, pick a card, just like picking a card, and on the card there was a subject. My subject was phones, so I had to talk about phones for one minute long, and I was just, I was like, okay, don't worry, you can do this. And after that, um, I could go to the other guys. And we talked about it for a bit um, and I was like, it was so nice, I really loved it. And um, they were saying, you know, you have a good chance of getting through because you're the only yeah, girl in our group. I was like, yeah, you're right, you have a point there. But I still was not sure about uh, getting through because I kind of messed up my interview. And when everyone of our group was done, so when all four of us had been doing our audition, the judges came and they told us that we all did really good but none of us would make it through to the next round which was really sad. Um, we all were not expecting to, go, to get through but we were hoping it. But the judges said that we could have a little speed day with um, all of them and we could yeah, ask them what can I do better, what was something you liked and they could give us advices and tips and everything. So I did that. 
And let me see. Something that the judges said to me was um, try to control your nerves because you probably could hear in my thoughts that I was really nervous and and make sure you have a lot of preparation and that was because of the interview because I was like oh it's done and I just had to make up questions for myself so that that's a good one because now when I'm doing things for school I, I make sure I have a lot of questions I make sure I have a lot of things stuff prepared and another thing was if you're talking to the microphone um, on radio just come close to the microphone and talk into the microphone don't stand like 30 centimeters off from it because you will sound really shy um, and you are not shy <laughs> it was like no not really <laughs> Um, try to make it as personal as you can because people like to have a person and not a DJ, they want persons and then some things I did good were um, they told me that I had a really beautiful and yeah, nice voice it was really nice to listen to and they also told me that it was nice that I um, told something about the Kunstbände and that I uh, let Rihanna sing a little bit. Uh, they also told me that I had a good in introduction by my interview and what more something that Marika, Marika Elsinga, which is a DJ there slash presenter of what kind of TV programs, uh, something that she said to me was um, keep on going and um, keep on developing yourself and please just try again and keep on participating because you do have talent and go on just keep on trying and that's something that yeah she made me believe in myself like so I'm like I can do it if I just try if I really want this, I can do it. That's what she kind of like, yeah, thought me with that. After that, we went outside again, me, Thomas and another guy from our group. Um, we were walking towards the train station and um, they went into the train and I was going to the macro because my family was there. And when I was walking back to the macro, um, I was thinking like this was so cool. I really wanted to get back. I was I was kind of sad um, Well, I had I had like mixed feelings because I was sad. I was really really happy and I was still so excited um, But I wasn't sad because I didn't make it that I didn't get through I was sad because the adventure was over That this was it. This was something I had been living forward to my whole life and this was it, now it ends. That's the thing that was making me yeah, really sad that this was the end. So um, when I went to see the macro, there was this lady who was telling me, Ah, oh, you can't have your backpack, you can't take it with you. And I was like so angry at her because I had, had a lovely day and I didn't want anyone to ruin it for me, but she kind of did. She was really angry for me having my backpack. So I had to go back to the car and my dad came with me and I had to put my uh, backpack in the car and yeah then I went inside again but um, when I was at the car I I could not hold myself. I could not. I just teared up. I cried <laughs> and my dad was like what's wrong? What's wrong with you? What's happening? And I was like I, I'm, I'm crying because I'm so happy. I'm just really sad that it's over. Not that I didn't get through, but that's over. And then I told my dad the whole story and everything that had happened. And then we met my sister and my mother. And my mom gave me a really big hug. And um, she was really proud of me. And yeah, I was crying. 
I was crying in the middle of the macro, but I did not care. I still don't care. I don't feel ashamed. Um, because I was the one who did this. I have made my dream come true because this was a dream of me for so long and I did it and I made it come true and no one is going to take this away from me because I've done it and I'm so proud of this and yeah I didn't care about crying um I didn't care I just wanted everyone to know that I was so proud of myself I did it I did it and I'm so still right now on this day I'm still so fucking proud of me and if I go back, I think I wouldn't have done anything different. Okay, well maybe I would have prepared my interview a little bit better, but for the rest of it, I wouldn't have any done anything else. Because this is what I did and I'm really proud of what I've achieved. And if I get a chance again, I'm definitely going to try to do it again, because I'm not, not giving up. This is something I want and if you really want something and you're, yeah, you want to do something to make it come through, then I think you're winning. So please let this story be an inspiration for you to never give up on your dreams and just keep on trying. Even though, yeah, you won't get there the first time, you will get there if you try it the second time, maybe the third time, maybe the tenth time, but you will get there. If you really want something, you will. You will definitely. So, this was my story. I am really happy to have shared this with you. I'm really happy that it happened and I'm still shivering right now. Um, I'm so glad that it's happened and I'm really happy. And yeah, this was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed my story. I hope it wasn't too exciting and bouncy because I feel like I'm on the clouds right now. I feel like I'm so active. So if it was really active, I'm sorry, <laughs> but um, this is just the feelings that I get when I talk about this subject. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!